going to help Kamal set up his new speakers. Have fun. What's all this? Oh, our wedding favors. I have to put them in these little bags and tie bows on them. I thought we settled on the whistles. No, we're giving these bottle openers. You spent a whole weekend dragging me around the city. You, you kept me up nights looking at hundreds of websites. I told you I liked the little white whistles that said Ready, Set, Gold Farms. Plastic whistles are a toy that you give kids at a parade. I mean, come on. At least mine makes sense. What are those, silver pigeons? They're doves. No, doves are white. People aren't going to know those are doves. They're going to think they're pigeons or Cornish game hens. Oh, thanks for coming to my wedding. Here, have a chicken. They are beautiful symbols of our love. No, they're beautiful symbols of how little regard you have for my time. I will be at Kamal's. Fine. Yeah, fine. Go to Kamal's. What are you doing? Are, are you calling your mother? You, you can't do that. Uh, don't tell me how to handle my stress. At our engagement party, Ellie and Kamal told us that when we have a problem, we need to turn towards each other. Remember, just the two of us and work things out. Now, they've been married for four whole years, so I think we should give it a try. Okay. I'm game. I'm sorry you don't like the doves, but... Plastic whistles are too trashy to be given out at a wedding. Well, those doves are not corkscrews, they're bottle openers. And they're going to be used for beer or, or Zima. Yes! Yes! So that people over the age of 21 will want to play with them. Well, the whistles had a sense of humor and they were a product of an entire weekend that I sacrificed. And this wedding is two years of my life. I'm not punctuating it with, with plastic whistles that make a pun on the new married name that that I'm not even sure I'm taking! Well, then stop wasting my time. Fine. Fine. Hey, guys. It's me. Shit. Hope you don't mind I let myself in. Where are you guys? I am not playing tomorrow. If you again. You keep saying this is a first world marriage, but then you can't handle being spoken to like an adult. Oh, I can't handle being spoken to by an ass. Oh, we can say that. Get out of my bedroom. Gladly, but just to remind you, your kindness, it's our bedroom until one of us dies, so there's that to look forward to. Alex is here. What the? Oh, hi, Alex. How, um, you good? Yeah, I just uh, came over to help you with the speakers like you texted, but then no one opened the door, so... Uh... You let yourself in! That's great, of course. <gasps> Alex has a key! For emergencies. Awesome! Let's get started. Okay. I am going to go make myself a cup of tea. You guys want anything? No, no, I'm fine. Look, dude, I'm so sorry. I can totally leave right now. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean, you guys are clearly in the middle of an argument. What? It's... You don't want to talk about it? No. Because I totally get it. Look, just before I came here, you would not believe what, what Jamie was doing. Uh, I mean, uh, was just... uh, you know our policy. They taught it in both our Muslim and our Catholic marriage prep classes. Elle and I don't discuss any of our disagreements with anyone else, and we don't get involved in anyone else's marriages either. Yeah, but I mean... Listen, I'm doing you a favor. Trust me, my indifference is a gift to you. Let's just set up some speakers like men. All right. Uh... Jeez, this box has got a lot of tape on it. Do you have any, do you have any scissors? Al? Alex walked out. I know. He came here. The scam. We got into a really big fight. What are you going to do? Look, I know you have this policy where you don't want people to talk about Are them. these the favors? Yeah. Oh, these are adorable. Come in the bedroom. I'll help you wrap them. Okay. Thanks. I, I think maybe we missed a step. I'm looking. Maybe it's on that page. I'll, I'll check. You don't like the doves either. What? I love them. But I just heard you call that one an ass. 
No. Oh, no. I love this one. In fact, can I have it now? What? You want it before the wedding? Oh, please. You like it that much? Yeah. And you can just leave it here. And You know what? You're too upset to do this now. No, I think the distraction's actually helping. No, no, it's not. I mean, I will wrap all of these up myself and bring them by your place later. Oh, but there's like 200 of them. That's not important. What's important is that you and Alex need to work things out right now. Oh. Look at you, you're just shaking, you're seething with rage. Come on. Okay.